Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. What an epic night it's been at the Michael Francis gig. Absolutely amazing. Of course, I had to get his book signed to Marty, of course. Got a little picture with him. All kinds of clips to edit for the channel. It's going to be quite exciting and something different here for you subscribers. A massive thank you to Sean Atwood once again for inviting me along. We've spoke a little bit back and forth since I interviewed Jeff Ollered on episode four who's also one of Sean's previous guests, um, Sean and Wildman interviewed about three, four years ago. Excellent interview and another excellent interview when I had him in my studio and me and Sean have kind of touched base briefly since then. And he invited me along to the event, knowing it's in my hometown and it was absolutely great to meet him. Of course, I had to get Sean's book, Hard Time, signed of course, and um, also met Chet Sandu, got one of his books, also signed. Absolutely hilarious guy, loved his stories over the years. Very entertaining. And I also met Marvin, one of Sean's previous guests. Absolutely top lad. And Daryl Aycock, another guy who's been on some of Sean's shows. Fascinating stories with their time, you know, during the gang wars and criminal underworld and stuff like that. And, you know, I think there's quite a positive message to be spread from it. It's not glamorising crime, same as with Michael Francis. There is a deeper meaning to it and showing people what the life's like and the reality of it. Um, and, you know, they do get a lot of stick as if they're trying to glorify criminality, but it's not like that at all. And I think it's very important to educate the youth onto the realities and the dangers of living such life because I think through media culture and music and stuff, it's kind of shown in a positive light that it's a good thing. But, you know, as, as Tony Soprano says, there's only one end for a guy like me. That's dead or in the can. And it's true. It really is true. But honestly, Michael's story is fantastic. And, you know, it's good to see that they can do these events and educate people on the realities of it. And, yeah, just... What a story. Wow. I mean, he's very lucky to be able to get out of the scene and to go on to tell his story as he is doing now. I've, he shared a statistic, which you will see in one of the videos, but I think it was one of the big American magazines, Time magazine or something like that, wrote an article many years ago on the richest 50 guys in the mob in the United States. And he is one of 50 that is still alive or not in jail. So very unique story indeed. And I can see why he has close protection guards with him at these events, because you just never know, do you? So it's absolutely awesome. Can't wait to get the clips edited. If you are new to the channel and I met you at the event tonight, big warm welcome to IE Media. And if you approach me in regards to doing an interview in the future, don't be afraid, hit me up, let's do this. iMedia 2024, let's go.